So one of the things that are that is tricky with um, analog integrated circuit design is that getting started is hard. You need a spice simulator, you need some sort of PDK, and if you're going to start from scratch, it is not easy. Also, most of the process design kits, the PDKs, are under a non-disclosure agreement, which means that you can't really put it online. Now, last year, or maybe two years ago, something happened though. Skywater launched its, um, and Google, launched this open uh, source PDK. And this is a fully functional PDK. There has been multiple tape outs with this in Skywater's 130 nanometer technology. However, that's mostly been for digital design. So you can use something called Open Lane to do digital design on these chips. So my interest is analog design. So I wanted to well, get my feet wet with this technology. One of the first things you need to do when you get a PDK and you're going to run uh, simulations, analog simulations, is that you need to set up the model. And even that is a daunting task when you look at the model's files. That always is the case for almost any PDK. But I wanted to show you something today that is the beginning of, well, it's a repo and it's functional today. Let's see where it goes in the future. So you can find it here at my uh, GitHub account and ASEX. There is an install command. So let me clear my screen there. So right now I'm logged into a Ubuntu Linux machine. This should also work on a Mac, but it does have a couple of requirements. You need to have ng-spice and it needs to be larger than version 34 and you need Python. As long as you have that, then you should at least be able to get started. So we can install it. This will clone something called CICSIM, which is a wrapper around ng-spice to enable um, simpler corner verification. And it will download the ASEX, which includes a link to the Skywater PDK. So it'll automatically extract the um, SPICE files from that PDK. Currently only 1.8 volt or uh, the uh, simple uh, NFETs and PFETs are enabled. But now it's installed and I can go into a sex and we can run the test. And now what happens is that it runs CSCSIM, but CSCSIM is just a Python script that runs on top. It has a certain command format to tell which corner it should run. And it runs uh, ng-spice in the background now. It writes a raw file from the ng-spice. And right now we'll actually run sort of a typical corner. It'll run the slow corner at high and low temperature and the fast corner at high and low temperature which gives a good indication of roughly sort of the uh, the variation, at least in the initial design stage for an analog design. As soon as that is run, it will uh, open the, um, actually for all of these simulations, it will also write a um, PDF file because it automatically runs a Python script after the new spice simulation. We can look at that afterwards. Let's just wait for the uh, simulation to pop up. So this is all the corners that were run. And you can see the, so this is the diode connected NMOS. You can see the drain current as a function of the gate source voltage. So let's take a quick look at what happens. So inside the install file, all it's doing is checking out CSI sim and installing that. So you'll now have CSISIM as a command. This was initially started to speed up my own Spectre simulations. <laughs> I haven't even changed the uh, documentation yet, but I added uh, recently now uh, ability to run in the same type of framework, the ng-spice. And then it'll check out uh, ASEX. So if we have a look inside ASEX, then there's an example 
we can go in there afterwards. Uh, lib, lib just includes a simple spice file that is a few standard transistors. No, that's the rare log. I haven't committed that yet. <laughs> okay, so the spice file. So it's using now the nfet and the pfet from um, Skyworks PDK. And then there's some common type of cell seri inverters and uh, NANDs and NORINs and things like that. Things that we usually use in the analog design. Uh, but you don't want to make. <laughs> in the models, it'll extract the Skywater PDK. So inside here, you'll have the technology files and you'll have the model files. And all this is open source. So it's freely available on GitHub. And inside the tech folder, Currently, uh, it has the setup for the spice. So, when you run the CIC sim, it needs to be told where the model files are and which corners to run. The way that's done, it's just in right now, just including the uh, sections in the library. Now, usually, I like to have my corners non correlated. So, I want to run, for example, fast uh, and MOS, but I want slow resistance or on that order. So if we go inside the ASX and the example directory, you will see there is a YAML file there, and that describes the corners. So when I do make typical, for example, oh, wrong directory, then that's the command that gets run, and these reference these sections of the um, YAML file. Now, all CIC did sim does is compute the permutations, so you can actually run typical fast slow, for example. It'll compute the permutations it wants to run in a single run, like this, high low temperature, and it'll pick the right corners. So if we go inside the actual test bench in the SPICE file, you'll have the library and a few options, uh, just a simple test bench with a diode-connected transistor and the control for ng-SPICE. Here it's important to remember the quit. So uh, might, actually, this is a smith, bit small. Let me make it bigger. Menu, set fonts. Let's try that. Maybe a bit small still. There we go. Yeah, that should be visible. So simple spice file. Also inside this directory, we have a make file that just runs CSC sim. And CIC sim will look for, actually you give it the spice file, but it'll look for a Python file right next to it. So in this Python file, it actually will write a PDF file. So here it's using some functions inside CIC sim to get the raw data from the ng-spice simulation, import it to a pandas data frame, and then plot that. Now, the plot that you saw initially, that's generated here. So that's doing simply the same thing almost. It finds all the raw files and makes a plot and then runs this raw plot. And you can see the code for that inside CSC sim. So hopefully that gets you started faster. And uh, I think it's pretty cool that it's now possible to download the PDK, everything's on GitHub. Oh yes, it's a bit tricky to set up, but hopefully this might make it simpler for you. It's so that's ASEX. Good luck. <laughs>